Hi friends, welcome to today's video, which is going to be the first half of my third trimester. Just crazy to think that I'm already that far now in the second half of my third trimester as I'm filming this. So just time has flown by. So yeah, I just have my notes here so that I don't forget anything and let's just get started. So I think the one of the biggest things when I started my third trimester was unfortunately that the exhaustion came back and it's gotten a little bit better in the last few weeks but yeah it definitely hit me like a brick wall it was like the first trimester exhaustion was back again it was not fun and sometimes i still have moments like that but like i said it, it has gotten at least a little better in the last couple of weeks so um but yeah i i even had one day where it was so extreme that i started going on a walk and i got maybe a couple blocks in at most and my body was just like okay if you don't turn around and go back you are going to pass out so i came back home i hadn't gotten the best sleep the night before but i've definitely gotten worse in in the past than i had that day so i didn't think it was entirely from that by any means and i also just wasn't feeling the best if i remember right it's just kind of like my stomach wasn't feeling the best and kind of like cold like symptoms and then and like the exhaustion didn't really get better. I kept resting and nothing really improved. And then his movements were sort of abnormal. So I was a little concerned about that. I did end up reaching out to my midwife and she said that she wasn't too concerned based on everything that I was saying that, you know, it was likely uh, like a stomach bug and but if i you know like to keep an eye on my symptoms and that if it were to make me feel better i could she would order a biophysical profile for baby unfortunately the which you know i said like you know yeah let's let's go ahead and order it and i'll just keep an eye on how i feel it was a little bit later in the day at that point so it was one of those things where my only options were probably going to be to go to triage for labor and delivery at the closest hospital and i didn't think it was quite emergency situation but eventually i ended up deciding that it was kind of urgent and the soonest that i could get in anywhere it was like a week from then which I wasn't willing to wait that long, but I also, again, still didn't feel like it was an emergency situation where I was like having heavy bleeding or I like wasn't feeling him moving at all or his movements were like super erratic where it seemed like he was in distress or something, but that it maybe could potentially get to that point that it was like possibly like early on for for a scenario like that uh so i just really just really wanted to check on him and so i actually ended up going to like a independent uh place which i had gone to before uh to to have an ultrasound of him like um for fun and so I was familiar with the place. Anyways, I they were able to get me in the next day and I knew that the, the tech that worked there at least used to work for quite a few years at a medical facility before he um, opened his own like 
ultrasound like boutique place so I knew that he at least even though they can't technically give you a medical diagnosis that he it was something that he used to do and he had kind of given us some extra information one of the other times that we were there too so I I just felt like it was better than nothing and cost wise because if we had gone to like the emergency room I have no idea what kind of bill that we would have left with there so um so yeah he was able to check on baby and everything looked completely normal he said that it was probably because he had switched into a different position um because of where my placenta is um, it's an anterior placenta, so he had probably switched positions so that I was actually able to feel him more easily and that so it, it felt like his movements had actually increased by a lot and that like maybe he was in a little bit of distress, but it would actually just because he was in a position where I could feel him more easily where normally I'm not. And my fluid levels looked great. He checked the blood flow to the cord and that looked great too. Um, he actually, I, he had his um, fingers spread apart uh, for part of the ultrasound, which he said um, that that uh, shows a good like neurological developmental signs. So um, yeah, just everything looked great. Um, we didn't know that it was going to be a 3D ultrasound. I think that's just what they offer when you're at that gestational week but I I just picked you know the most affordable one so I, I did I don't remember seeing anything about 3d on the thing so I was we were not aware that we were going to be getting that so that was kind of a nice surprise I will insert some of the photos from that So, and haven't had, I, I did end up feeling better like the next day and haven't had any issues since. So I think it was just kind of a fluke thing, but it was still really reassuring to be able to, to check on him. So another thing is that he, he does move like all the time yeah just a lot of like bigger movements now before they were a lot more like kicks and jabs and sometimes he still does that but a lot of his movements now are just kind of like bigger like he's like you know just swiping one of his limbs across my stomach um and every now and then though it'll it'll be like a bigger movement uh like a couple of weeks ago, I remember I was trying to, I think, go to sleep at night and I was starting, like, just barely starting to drift off and he just decided to stick out all of his limbs at the same time, just out of nowhere. And I definitely jumped. That was an interesting experience. Another thing is I am still kind of dealing with the constipation. Every now and then it's better, but unfortunately that's still just been more this pregnancy than the last pregnancy. I definitely dealt with it in the first trimester of the last pregnancy, but it's kind of lasted this pregnancy. So yay me. It doesn't seem to matter if I take, you know, magnesium supplements or try and increase my fiber. The Increasing the fiber intake does help more than the magnesium supplement, but still doesn't make that big of a difference. It's just, it's marginal. So it just seems to be something I'm having to deal with this time around. So yay. <laughs> I had my gestational diabetes test a few weeks ago and I passed that. Got a pretty similar number to what I did with the first pregnancy. It was fairly low. It was in the 80s, so that was good. Um, I do have some minor swelling at times, 
but it's it never lasts it's usually if i like right after i come back from a walk and it's like really hot that day or something but it usually goes away within maybe an hour at the most and it's never been extreme it's just like i kind of like look down and just notice or or like my ring um fits a little bit tighter or something um but like i said it always goes away uh, another nuisance, speaking of, is that I have to split up my meals into two parts now, pretty much all of them. Sometimes dinner, I can eat the whole thing, but usually breakfast and lunch for sure. I can't eat a normal size portion because I just get so full so quickly. So I just, I usually just serve myself a smaller size portion of whatever I'm eating and then eat some more a little bit later, which obviously, you know, makes it seem like I'm eating all the time, <laughs> which gets to be annoying schedule wise, but obviously it's still preferable over feeling super bloated. So let's see. Oh, I'm still doing two walks a day. So that's good. Um, I, I do think I'm gonna probably end up needing a belly band. So I either really gotta find the one for my last pregnancy or just suck it up and get a new one. But it's never, it's it's gotten to a point a couple of times where I'm like, oh, I kind of wish I had it, but it's never been like, oh my God, I have to, I have to turn around and go back home now because I can't do it without one. So I just have a feeling that I'll get to that point so um and then um one thing that i've noticed is that ivy has been cuddling me a little bit more sometimes and she touches my belly and you know i've tried to tell her that there's a baby in there uh, i i don't know if she really grasps that concept yet she's only 14 months so maybe on some level she's aware of something i don't know we're definitely curious to see how she reacts you know when she meets her brother for the first time and then yeah i guess really uh the only other thing i was going to mention that i'll you know be talking about in my next video is we're going on a week-long vacation with steve's family it's a about a four hour drive from our house. We're just gonna stay at a VRBO and yeah, we're leaving for that tomorrow. So I will talk about how that goes in my next video. Like I'm, we're really excited for it. It's mostly just the drive that I'm a little nervous for being basically 33 weeks pregnant. So longer car rides, I just remember from the last pregnancy were sometimes difficult because it would sometimes cause Braxton Hicks contractions, which actually that reminds me that's something I've been getting more of this pregnancy and at least that I can feel. Apparently in the first one, you don't always feel them even though they're happening. So even if I was having them, I, I wasn't really feeling them, but I, I'm definitely feeling them this time. So I'm, I'm hoping that the car ride is not, because I also hate to have to stop. Like I know that we'll have to every now and then to, you know, stretch our legs and especially me being pregnant and I'll have to, you know, stop for bathroom breaks, but uh, gotta do what we gotta do. So, but yeah, we're, we're pretty excited to, to go on this vacation. There's a pool that's part of the VRBO and Ivy really likes to swim. So we're very excited to, to take her swimming in that pool. Okay, so yeah, I guess that just leaves the bump update. Okay, so this is the bump update for the first half of the third trimester. I do feel like I have popped a little bit more from the last bump update, but I haven't actually compared side to side. So we'll see if that's actually the case. It just, I don't know, 
looking in the mirror this morning, I just felt like I looked a little bit bigger, but maybe it's in my head. I don't know. I think I'll have to actually see a side by side to know for sure. But I mean, I do, I have in the last like a week felt a little bit bigger. Like things are just, it feels like they're being pushed outward. Even if I can tell it's not him actually pushing on me, just, uh, yeah, it just feels, it's almost like a bloated feeling like things are stretching, but might, it could have been just like a, a bloating situation. So yeah, a little nervous for how much more I potentially could grow in, in the last part of the third trimester here, but we'll just have to see what happens since this is my second pregnancy. So still overall feeling pretty good. So I'll take it. <laughs> okay, I think that wraps everything up. If there was anything that I didn't talk about or you have questions on or it was confusing or something, just leave me a comment below and I promise I will get to it and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.